really good. The songs are just have so many layers and depth to them. How does a throwing music song get written? It wakes me up in the middle of the night, and I wander out to the garage in my nightgown. It's not as spooky as it sounds like. <laughs> it's very ethereal and sort of dreamy. It's very magic. <laughs> oh, it's just goofy, and I can't sleep. Well, really? It's not they just kind of hit you out of the blue, and you can't... Mm-hmm. The blue, I guess, is where they come from. <laughs> they hit me anyway. Yeah. And then you just have to run out there and put it down, huh? Yeah. And um, they're better listeners than I am, so I kind of bring them what I have, and they respond to it, and I respond to their response, and we make a record. So you guys don't just wait in the garage for her to, you know... Get inspired, right? Yeah, we get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, get a usually shack on marks. Yeah, excellent. Well, the album is, like I said, it's very, very good. A lot of depth to it. But how have you been received here in America um, as opposed to England? I know you guys were on 4AD, which is a, a label over there for a long time, and we're popular in England before here. What's that like? We're pretty big in England, I guess. They put us on the cover of papers. Mm -hmm. But England is about the size of Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we have our pockets in America where we're just as popular, but I believe for us to cross the corn in the Bible Belt without mm -hmm. hurting anybody's feelings, we'd, we'd have to be paced or a paced version of us. Yeah. And we're too old to figure out how to do that. Well, you guys, I mean, you are very influential, and now you hear people saying, oh, it sounds like throwing muses, and it, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. so it, I think that's great that you've been around, and you're kind of a reference point now. That's very interesting. Yeah, any band with a chick in it, we're a reference <laughs> point. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of those now. <laughs> yeah. Being a chick is hip I and made cool. them all up. <laughs> <laughs> They're all spin-offs of you. <laughs> but you were saying, I, I was reading, you were saying that, that over in England also they, they just perceive you differently as very dark and... Yeah. Yeah, actually, and they like that, which is kind of depressing for me because I think there's a, an American tradition of uh, bands that sound harsh for a good reason, for a mm -hmm. very positive reason, like the Pixies, Dinosaur Jr., Nirvana. Right. Um, but they seem to think we're really depressing and angry there, um, and, and they're into that, but, uh, so I don't really know what to do about right. it, I don't want to, you don't want to make them, them hate us, but <laughs> I keep having to slap them and say, we're happy, we're happy, we're happy, right. you know, I'm screaming and yelling, not because I'm being mugged, but because it moves me hard. Right. So are there some recurring themes, though, if you're not just dark and dismal, but are there recurring themes in your records and things you like to write about more? Um... It's never that conscious. <laughs> we, don't, we don't approach records with an idea of what they're going to be and what the songs are going to be about. We just react to the songs that come out of the garage. Mm -hmm. And then after the fact, we hear stuff like university is supposed to be about water and horses. Uh -huh. Okay. I mean, it seems like a stupid thing to write a record about. <laughs> I, I didn't have any idea that's what I was doing at the time. Yeah. Well, you know, if you're reading like, like G, uh, dream uh, books, they tell you that horses are very representative of, uh, you know, grander things. So I, I looked it up. Oh, you did look it because up? Because people were giving me so much crap about uh, being a poet. And I said, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. I just hear them in the garage. Right. <laughs> and and, and I, I felt guilty for not having a good answer. And, yeah. and horses were vitality and water was essence of life. So there are good things. Good it's not you. like death and disease. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only answer I have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's fair. It's a very idea. vital, essential album. Right. Now, you said you've been on the road for a while. What are you guys currently listening to in the, in the Throwing Muses bus or van or plane, whatever you travel <laughs> by? Steve what's, Miller. What's that? Steve that's Miller? Steve Miller's a, a very good oh. tour bus. Oh, yeah? There's Harvey Sid Fisher. Harvey Sid Fisher. Yeah. Astrological. One of about astrological science. Huh. See, it all ties in with uh, dreaming and the astrology and the horses. It all ties in, <laughs> don't it? It's a big. <laughs> beyond us. Big. You don't see it until after the fact. It's like bigger now. than we are. So now, are you guys going to still be playing uh, on a tour after you guys leave us tonight, or what's next? They keep telling us that we're done, and <laughs> and we keep not being done. I think they didn't want to give it to us all in one, you know, yeah. blow. But I've been out for 18 months. The boys have been out for. Six months. And, and you bring your sons with you? I bring the little one with me. The big one has a life. He's a guy and he has better guy things to do than live on a bus. <laughs> 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 he has guy stuff. Cool. He's figured out that it's a stupid idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. We, <laughs> this is the first record where we'd ever been involved with the video at all. Usually we just stand there and shut up. <laughs> and this time we thought video could be fun. You know, it's like a little movie in a day. And, 
So we did a whole treatment till the director involved down through the like minutia of making a video and it scared our record company <laughs> so bad <laughs> that they actually funded a, a whole new video. So we're kind of off the video scene right now. I, I don't know numbers or anything. Ours was full of uh, monkeys and drag queens. <laughs> I went to bed with a monkey and trashed a hotel room. Wow. You, yeah, it was involved. Maybe you could bring it some night and show <laughs> yeah. it on here. We'll have an exclusive. <laughs>